Thank you for joining us for News 19 at 630. I'm Emily Forrester. And I'm Greg Screws. And the Alabama Department of Education will be asking state lawmakers for more money in the next education budget as federal COVID relief funds dry up. News 19 state capital reporter Maddie Beer Temple has more on the funding cliff and how education officials hope to fill the gap. That federal money directed for schools must be spent by next fall. Once it runs out, education officials want lawmakers to consider putting state savings toward programs supported by those federal funds. Alabama received roughly $3 billion as part of federal pandemic relief funds. Schools have until next September to spend that final round of money. Intended as one-time funding, many schools have used it to hire teachers, social workers, nurses, and more. We are worried a little bit that that we won't be have the funds to cover everything. State Superintendent Eric Mackey hopes the state can ease the transition and pull from money lawmakers set aside last session because of a surplus. Mackey says other things at risk include summer reading and after school programs. State has saved a lot of money at the end of this month. We'll have a couple billion dollars in savings and hopefully that'll help us um, not have a funding cliff but have more of a uh, uh, level easy landing. This comes as education officials are putting together their fiscal year 2025 budget proposal. The FY 2024 education budget begins this October at a record high $8.8 .8 billion. We asked Governor Kay Ivey whether she supports increased education funding as these federal dollars dry up. Well, we'll have to deal with it, but in my time as governor, we worked hard to make wise investments and we will certainly continue to do that. But educating our children is a high priority. Now lawmakers will consider the budget proposals at the start of next legislative session in February. Reporting in Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple, News 19.